Hello friends, Tony here, welcome. In this video I'm going to see the new, which is in beta, uh, the official Laravel VS Code extension. But right now, if I open the extensions here and just search for Laravel, let's see, I have one, two, three, uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten extensions installed for the Laravel to work. And of course, if I open here the files now, everything works correctly. So let's see controllers, for example, post controller here. Yeah, we have highlighted and also uh, auto completed. So if I say inertia, yeah, we have inertia here, use inertia. And of course it's going to uh, work very good. The same thing. the same thing with uh, let's see resources views up to blade or if i open something else so the index here yeah we have a for each highlighted and everything works very good but now let's uh, remove all the extension and i'm going to install only that one and see the difference So let's open again the extensions and I'm going to uninstall one by one. So uninstall this one, also this one, also this one, also I'm going to leave the Laravel point. Just uninstall this artisan, uh, blade for mother. Uh, this is not installed, but I think, yeah, we need to uninstall this one this one right here and the last one is the extra intelligence and i think we are now we are okay so let's restart extensions and now here we can search for laravel and see the new laravel which is in beta version i'm going to scroll down and see where that uh, La yeah here we have the laravel and let me zoom it official vs code extension for laravel and right now has uh, six five stars okay so let's install this and you can read more here on the documentation also let's close this is installed so what we have we have up bindings, auto completion links directly to binding, warns when binding not found, assets, uh, blade syntax highlighting, config is going to suggest, yeah, auto completion links directly to config file, also for the eloquent where create with and so on, inertia works also with inertia. I have the inertia here, route sign the route, redirect route and so on okay now let's see let's open the controller first i'm going to close this and yeah remove this one and also uh, i'm going to remove the inertia also the post and the request everything and let's start a new method. Okay, I need to say public function. And let's name it index. And here I'm going to create the return an inertia response. So just let's say response inertia. Very good. Now let's say uh, the last sign pause to be equal with post model. And of course we have, uh, yeah, app. Use app model post. Very nice. Let's say all here, for example. Okay. And I'm going to say now. Here is a good thing. We have this index and underscore uh, warning here, and also a red warning here. 
on error. So expected type inertia response found void. So let's return that inertia response. I'm going to say return inertia. Oh, sorry. Yeah, we need to say inertia here. Or we can use the inertia, use inertia, inertia. And uh, let's say render. I have a file, I think, in the post index. Yes, of course, here we have suggestions. Uh, I think is amazing. And we can add here post. So let's say post dollar sign post. And I think works very nice with the controller. Now let's open uh, what we can open here. Let's open, yeah, the blade version with open the index and let's see we have a for each i'm going to just uh yeah comment this and do the same thing down there so let's make a for each of course dollar sign post as a post dollar sign post and works also, we can check if here, uh, I think, with this uh, extension, the VS Code now looks amazing and uh, we need only one extension for all the work to do. Also, what we can see Oh yeah, what? let's open also the routes. On the routes, web.php. And let's close this. This is a, this is the missing uh, piece of Laravel. I'm going to say route. Uh, no, not like this, but route like this. And I'm going to say get slash post and then I'm going to use the post controller because I think we have I have this down there yeah post controller class and the same as I have it right here so post controller class and the index method we can add here a uh, middleware so let's say middleware and let's say for example out yeah we have suggestions very good also we can say verified for example yeah and of course if i say name post index dot index okay friends that's it uh, what i wanted to show you the new Laravel and yeah you can search on the extension here the new Laravel extension for the VS code or you can uh, open the Visual Studio code marketplace and search for Laravel let me just go to marketplace and just search for uh, Laravel here and you can find the new one which is uh is gonna be the most popular but for now yeah here we have laravel from the laravel and has this uh, beta uh badge over there okay friends uh, that's it what i wanted to show you and don't forget if you like such a videos subscribe to my channel like the video share with your friends and see you in the next one all the best thank you very much